Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my bedroom makeover. So for those of you that don't know, I currently still live in my family home. I am planning on moving out um, as soon as I can. Some of you might already know this, but I am a um, carer for my grandmother who lives with us. Um, so the circumstances at the moment just don't allow me to be able to move out of my family home which is fine I love being here and it gives me the opportunity to save a little bit more money um, before I move in into my own place so I just thought this summer I would update my bedroom a little bit I do love my bedroom it's a huge space well I think it's a huge space and it's very very kind of minimal and everything is just white so it's very easy for me to change the odd thing here and there and I did get some nice furniture about maybe like a year or so, maybe like 18 months or two years ago, I think. Um, but I just fancied a little bit of a change. I've not spent loads and loads of money. Just a few things here and there that I thought I would update you on. So this is my bedroom currently. Um, it's not the tidiest it's ever been, but yeah, it's quite a nice space. Obviously my wardrobe's here, bed, two bedside tables. This area here I feel like is quite cramped um, with my dressing table. I then obviously have this rail. These drawers um, in the wall are super, super handy. These are just the Ikea mom drawers and my dad very cleverly popped them into the wall for me. Also a little bit of shelving in the wall there. And then this side of the room, obviously I have my TV, Maple's beds. Um, I have another one of these units as well. Then over here obviously I have my mirror and a little desk area which used to have a chair but I actually sold that chair um, the other day. So I just thought I would talk you through my plans. Um, I'm basically thinking of removing this desk. Um, I sit at it occasionally, but I just don't love having a desk in my room. I'd obviously much prefer to have my own office space. Um, we don't have the room for that. So I just had my own kind of desk area made up. Um, but I just think it's kind of unnecessary. I can do a lot of my work at the kitchen table or on the go or whatever. So it just doesn't get the use that I feel it really needs and it takes up a lot of space. So I'm thinking of turning this area into like a little bit of kind of a cozy area with a nice chair in the corner. Um, maybe leave these shelves, maybe get rid of them. I haven't decided yet. So this desk will be going. It's really badly marked as well. I always do my nails on here and um, end up getting nail varnish on it, which is slightly annoying. So everything on here will be going, this light, all that kind of stuff. Um, and it'll just be a nice area with probably like a rattan chair. Um, obviously not doing anything with my wardrobes. Might try and change these handles as I don't love them. I kind of just went into B&Q and thought, what handle should I get? And these were the nicest, I have a bad bunch. Um, so I might change these as well. In terms of my bed area here, um, I've decided to get rid of these bedside tables that I have. Um, I got these from Dunelm about 18 months ago. I do really like them, um, but I don't know if you guys remember me speaking about them when they first arrived. They came really badly marked, but you can kind of see on the inside here, and there are a couple of like chips on the top as well. And they weren't that cheap. I can't remember exactly how much they were, but they weren't cheap. And I just had so much hassle with Dunelm. The customer service is horrendous. They were supposed to come and pick them up and exchange them and they just never came to pick them up and then they stopped responding to all my emails. So I had to keep them um, and I didn't get a refund or anything, which is annoying. But yeah, I'm getting rid of these. I'm gonna sell them on. And then I think what I'm gonna do is also get rid of my dressing table. Um, I do like it, but it's very kind of classic Ikea which I want to avoid as much as possible. So selling the stool, the dressing table and the mirror and replacing that with a nice chest of drawers along here and then I won't have a bedside table on this side. I will just have one bedside table here, probably a slightly bigger one and maybe get rid of this little wooden table from Tukus as well. And if I have a nice big chest of drawers here, it means I can fit everything in from the dressing table and from my bedside table. Um, and hopefully as well everything from this chest of drawers um, because I'm going to use this elsewhere in the house um, and I just feel like I want this space back because that takes up quite a bit of room um, and it's just it'll just be nice to have kind of a clear area here but yeah those are my plans for the bedroom nothing too exciting um, my chest of drawers is due to arrive on Thursday it's currently Monday so I will show you that this week um, I need to still order a chair. I haven't done that yet for this area um, And I've got a few other things going on as well like new curtains new curtain pole 
Um, I picked up this light from Ikea. I did an Ikea trip the other day. Picked up this light to replace the god awful chandelier that I've had for years. I think I'm gonna keep this ottoman, which I quite like. I also picked up some new cushions. These ones here at the back um, are from Ikea. And then these linen ones in the front were from Dunelm, actually, even though I've just said I hate Dunelm. Um, but they were on offer, they were like 11 pounds each, which I thought was really, really cheap for linen cushions. I'm gonna paint my room as well, give it a fresh lick of paint get rid of this, sort out all my Vogue magazines. This table as well, my mum randomly bought the weekend. I don't think she bought it for my room, but it's in here for some reason. Um, yeah, and then new curtain pole. I will show you, I got a black curtain pole that's just hiding around here for the time being, um, which I thought might be quite nice. Basically, I just want my room to be a bit more minimal and a bit more um, black and white as opposed to just white everything and also less Ikea. Um, I'm also thinking of perhaps replacing the headboard on my bed, not the whole bed because um, I've got a really expensive mattress on there and the actual bed frame is pretty standard and it's got four drawers underneath and the space is so, so useful. Um, so I'm thinking of just trying to get a headboard, um, taking this headboard off because it does come off um, yeah, and just replacing the back of it to make it look less mom because everything in my room is mom and I really don't like it. It's good because it's really affordable, easy to put together furniture, but um, just not long term. And also when I do eventually move out, I want to be able to take this kind of stuff with me. So this is not me spending money for no reason. Like all of this furniture that I'm buying is the kind of decor that I would imagine wherever my own place may be. Um, so hopefully, yeah, I'll be able to take it with me. But yeah, I thought I would just introduce this video um, so you guys can get an idea of what is going to be happening and I will just update you as and when the changes happen. And yeah, I don't know when this video will be going up, probably quite a while from now because I'm just doing things gradually. Um, but yeah, I'll let you know when it's all finished. Hi everyone, it's a few days later now and I am currently in amongst what I would describe as organized chaos. I'm just about to start putting this unit together. Please ignore the way I look. I've just literally shoved my hair up and I've got an old loungewear set on. But yeah, I'm just about to start putting a new unit together. It's going to go here alongside this wall. Um, so hopefully it looks okay. But it is a black, what's it called? I have the instructions. I think it's called Henny's. Um, it's this one from Ikea. It's black brown, but if you look at it, it kind of looks pretty black to me um, So I think I'm going to change the handles that come with it. I've just unpackaged it, bought all of it upstairs um, I've got this down ready to um, put it all on, build it on um, And I took this top piece, which is obviously the top of the unit, took that out of the box last And would you look at that? A nice big mark right on the top um, and I was so tempted just to put everything back in the box and be like <laughs> send me a new one Ikea but uh, I just think I'm gonna build it and I'm just gonna try and put something on top of this so you can't see it I mean it's so so annoying it was quite a cheap unit I mean it was 250 pounds so for what it is I don't really know what I expected, but I didn't expect it to come marked. So that has annoyed me a little bit, but I'm going to put it together and hopefully, like I said, I can just put something over the top of that mark and when it's all done and finished, you won't notice it. So it does say that this is a two-person job, but I'm going to try and do it myself. I am a little bit of a connoisseur, connoisseur in building IKEA flat pack furniture. I've done a lot of it in the last few years. I've done a lot of it on my own. So yeah, I'm pretty confident. I think I can do it. So about four hours later, we finally have a finished unit. It's actually the next day now. I kind of gave up on filming the time lapse because it just took me so long. Um, like I said, it was a two person job and I did it on my own. So it was bound to take a little bit longer. And I like the look of the unit, but I'm a little disappointed with, I don't know, just the quality. You can see a huge chip here, which I'm not happy about, but I've got like, um, ordered like a pen 
um, that like covers like wooden chips so hopefully you won't be able to notice that um, obviously I've covered the mark on the top here with um, my book so you can't really see it so I guess you get what you pay for um, I've obviously added a few bits on the top here my Dyson I think I'm probably going to try and squeeze in one of these drawers they're quite roomy um, I've just popped a little bit of makeup in here for now but I think I'm going to have to change the way that I store my makeup because I'm not making the most out of um, the depth of these drawers so I'll have a look into ways that I can organise it. Um, also my jewellery as well. I'm probably going to play around with this as well. I don't love these trays anymore, so I'll be getting rid of them. And I just feel like this is a bit too colourful for me. I don't know, um, I might try and pop this away. Over here I've got all of the items that were in my chest of drawers that went here, which I'm going to try and fit in there, which I should be able to do. And everything that's in this bedside table... Um, I'm gonna pop in there as well, which is all my other hair stuff. So I'll show you what, when it's all organized. Hi everyone, a few days later, and I've done a little bit of painting today, and I have been out and bought a few more ornaments and a few more bits and bobs um so i will show you that and um i've also put up some new curtains and a new curtain pole so i got an olive tree and i got a few little bits to put on my windowsill because i want it to be really like minimal and clean and crisp all this crap that's behind me here i need to find a place for that because i don't want it out anymore so i went for a black curtain pole i'm just trying to not show you too much about my window plain black curtain pole and some really thin kind of voile curtains i had really thin curtains here anyway and my room is so light and bright that it doesn't it doesn't really bother me i quite like having a light room the sun wakes me up nice early in the morning and then obviously you can see my olive tree here i just got this from the garden center it was only 45 pounds i need to get a pot for it so i'm going to look online and see if i can find a nice kind of maybe like grey or terracotta pot to put it in um, but I love it, it's so nice, it should be okay up here in my room actually I was a bit wary about getting um, an olive tree for inside but I've seen a few other people do it and they're supposed to not need that much water and they're supposed to like quite hot climates and my room is definitely a hot climate another new addition um, is these coffee table books so I have this Chanel catwalk one and then this one, Eat, Drink, Nap, which I got, um, I bought both of these from Amazon. Oh, God, that's heavy. This one is by Soho House. It's a really, really lovely book. Had a quick flick through it. Um, lots of nice things in there, like restaurants, really nice places to go. It's just a lovely book. So I got that one. I just thought they'd go a bit nicer with the darker colour scheme than the pink Jacquemus one. So I sold that. I actually gave that to or I sold it to a lovely um, follower of mine. So she should get that soon. Um, and then obviously I have my little vase and the dry flowers in. The dry flowers were a gift and the vase was also a gift. So I can't link them for you. This candle is from August and Piers is incredible. I haven't lit it yet as you can see, but it literally stinks out my whole room in a good way and it's not even been lit yet so it's amazing it's so beautiful as well that just goes really lovely um in this corner i think so here are my lights everything's kind of cluttered on here at the moment um because i am finding space for things still um but i ordered this light from like a random light company it's just a plain shade um, with a black stand to go on my bedside table whenever that arrives. This one I think I already showed you guys from Ikea um, to replace the ghastly chandelier. I also opened my Jo Malone diffuser. My mum got me this for Christmas last year and I hadn't opened it yet, but I love the black reeds. It is the peony and blush suede. It's such a lovely, gorgeous scent. So yeah, that has been my day so far. Um, I also got a... Um, jewellery kind of organiser from Amazon which I will show you later on in the video. But yeah I'm kind of halfway through painting my room um, done up to about here so I've got this half to do um, and then I'm done and then I can start to really kind of put things away in the place that they are going to stay. So everything is still definitely all over the place at the moment but it's really starting to come together and just a few small changes have really made the difference already. Hey everyone, so excuse the look of me, I am so patchy from my tan, I've got no makeup on, I'm in really scruffy clothes, but that is just the reality of um, 
decorating. I am not going to pretend like I have done any painting today because I haven't. My mum, bless her, has really helped me out. I've not been feeling very well. So she's taken over and she's so good at painting. So I've, I've just let her take control for today. She's done a fab job. Um, it's looking really, really good in here. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the walls are just white. I find it so much easier just having white walls. Um, I've got a couple of deliveries, bedside tables, bedside light, um, something from H&M Home and what else? Some new wardrobe handles as well. So I will show you all of them. So this is my new bedside table. Um, it's pretty simple, just a very, hello, just a very minimal black kind of side table thing. Um, I decided I didn't need one with drawers. I was going to get one that was like, uh, it had three drawers. It was black and it looked very kind of filing cabinet-esque. And yeah, I don't know. I just couldn't unsee it. So I just went for something really minimal in the end. It's got a glass top. Hello. Um, but because everything fits so nicely in this chest of drawers, I just didn't need the extra space. I still have one drawer here um, in this that's empty. So, so I have lots of space. So this is just going to go in this corner here. Um, my bed and everything is pulled out at the moment because of the painting. So I'll pop that where it's gonna go. I'll put the light on it as well. And these are my new door handles for my wardrobe, just very plain matte black. So I'm gonna change these ones now. I like these when I first had them. The glass kind of crystal thing is a little bit done in my opinion anyway. And then I'm gonna pop my shelves back up here and dress them as nicely as I possibly can. So this is now looking quite cute. These shelves are probably a bit too busy for me, but I kind of want all of this stuff out. I have this little Joe Malone shrine going on here and I use literally all of these fragrances all the time. Obviously my diffuser has to be out because it smells divine. And then I have a couple of cute little candles. My Gucci kind of makeup pouch. Obviously have to have this pick of my gorgeous little Bella. And then just a couple of boxes and then a little plant. And on here, this is my light. It's okay. Um, it was quite cheap. I think it was like 29.99, something like that. I'll link um, the light and the bedside table below. I think what I'm gonna do is um, get some black sticky tape and just stick this to um, the bedside table so you can't really see the wire. I'm um, not sure how that's going to look, but the wire kind of ruins the um, the look, doesn't it, Maple? Oh, lovely, <laughs> showing us your teeth. But yeah, I was a bit concerned about this light yesterday when I unpackaged it, but I think it looks okay. It looks quite nice on the bedside table. Um, yeah, now I'm going to do these handles. Oh, I'm definitely so pleased with the way that these handles look. I've oh, got a bit of a mark on my door there. Yeah, much better than the other ones. The other handles I bought from B&Q, literally as soon as I got these doors on, um, they were really expensive. I think they were like, oh, I can't remember how much, but I remember they were really, really expensive. And these I think I got from a online store called The Handle Studio, and they were like 350 each. So they look much better and they're way more suited to my room now. I showed you guys my olive tree yesterday and I actually picked up as well. I went to a homeware store um, kind of near where I live um, and it's called Mood. I've spoken about it a couple of times before on my channel and showed a few bits that I've got from there before and I picked up this gorgeous grey vase and these um, this bit of artificial greenery which I love and that's just going on my windowsill but I just thought this was so so nice really really pretty so I will leave their um, Instagram down below. I'm going to open this H&M parcel now. Look at this giant box for this one day. So much recycling. Oops. Sorry, Nathan. Did that scare you, darling? Sorry. in one piece. What are you doing behind me, darling? Oh! Oh! 
beautiful. So basically just this marble circular tray that I picked up. I think it was 19.99, and I had um, on my like rewards thing on H&M I had three pound off, so it was 16.99. Um, took me a while to work out, didn't it? And it's free delivery. So yeah, I thought this would look really cute maybe on my unit that you are currently balanced on, um, or somewhere. I just thought I could put perfumes or something on it. Um, so that is, in fact, what I'm going to do. This looks nice on it as well, but that's not how it's going to go. So yeah, that is it for today. That's my daily update. Um, and once this room is completely painted and I can put everything back, then I will update you on that. I have two things, let, well, I have three things. I have a mirror that's on its way that is going to go on top of the black unit. I'm going to reupholster my headboard myself and I need to buy a um, accent chair. I've seen one that I like, I just need to um, pluck up the courage to buy it because it's quite expensive. And then once I've planted Mr. Olive over there, um, I think we'll pretty much be done. Hi everyone, it's been a while since I filmed anything for this video, but I have a little bit of an update that I'm working on today. So I'm gonna share it with you guys. The only other thing that has changed since my last clip is um, we put the light up, which is great. So that looks much better than the horrible old chandelier. But what I'm working on today is re-upholstering my bed. So obviously I think I've said before, this is the Ikea mom bed. So I'm gonna take the headboard off, ignore this mess up here, but I've got my staple gun, my staples. In here is the batting I'm gonna wrap around it. And then this is the linen material that I got. I literally just got these off Amazon. I will obviously link them down below. So the first job is to try and get the headboard itself off the bed. Um, I've done it a few times before, so it shouldn't be that difficult. <laughs> okay, so headboard is off. Put it on this um, blanket just so it's not on the hardwood floor. Took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to work the staple gun, <laughs> but that's done now. And I'm basically just stapling the batting um, about a centimeter up from the bottom of um, the headboard just because if I staple it underneath it won't fit and this bit will be hidden by the mattress anyway. I've got a bit left over at the side to wrap around and a bit left over at the top to do the same. Um, so I'm just going to go along the bottom now. I'm following um, a blog post, I'll link that down below, um, that told me how to do this. I've got so much excess batting though, I've just bought the bigger size because um, I thought I'd rather have too much than too little and now I've got loads. <laughs> So I think that is pretty darn good. Um, I didn't want to film exactly sort of like a step-by-step -step of how I put everything on because um, I literally just followed the blog, but I'll leave a link down below. I didn't want to like steal her whole thing. So if you want to do it yourself, you can literally just read that. It was so simple. I think that's taken me like 20 minutes, 25 minutes, um, but I love it. I love this linen and I'm going to give it a quick steam and then I'm going to put it back on the bed. So this is the finished headboard. I'm quite pleased with it if I do say so myself. Quite neat on the corners as well. The back here is obviously not that neat but nobody's ever going to see that so I'm not too worried. But yeah I love it. I feel like it's really just transformed this bed into a different bed. But yeah that was the final job that I had to do in this room. Um, so it's pretty much complete now. I just need to find a chair. So that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed seeing the updates. The only thing I haven't managed to put in this video is 
um, a chair because I really wanted like an accent chair. Um, I've linked the one that I wanted down below, but it's out of stock at the moment. So I'm just waiting for one um, to come back into stock. But other than that, everything else is finished. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. Just a few little tweaks and changes um, have really made so much difference. So I will link everything that I can think of down below in the description box. But if there is something that you've seen um, that I haven't linked, then just drop me a comment. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a like. And if you are new to my channel, I would love it if you subscribed and I will see you all very soon with another video. Bye.